Welcome into Off the Field presented by DreamFinders Homes. I'm here with Ezra Cleveland, the newest Jaguar acquired at the deadline. I know that was a little bit of a surprise for you, but how did you find out about it and how's the first week been? Um, my agent actually contacted me, I think like an hour or two before uh, the trade actually happened. Told me that it was a possibility. Um, but then, you know, two hours later, they GM called me and told me I was traded and I got to talk with Doug and uh, Trent and stuff and they kind of got everything situated and got me a flight that night and then uh, I got here Wednesday, but we were during the bye week. So came here Wednesday, did the physical, went back home to Minnesota, got the stuff uh, gathered and told the fiance and everything. And um, I got here Sunday um, after the bye week and then I've been here for what, a week and a half now? And it's been great. Um, the weather's kind of taking a turn. It's a little rainy and stuff, but I'm waiting for it to get nice again. It'll get there, and you'll definitely appreciate, I'm sure, compared to Minnesota, where you've yeah, been for your career. For sure. The offensive line coach, Phil Rauscher, here worked with you in Minnesota. Um, for those that don't know him, he's like the most animated person in the world. So, what's it like to play for him and to be working with him again? Yeah, I mean, Phil's a great guy. Uh, he definitely makes playing for, like playing football fun again, and then. Um, I don't know. I mean, you guys haven't been around him. He's he makes a lot of noises during Dad. meetings, like poo, poo, like when people hit st uh, hit other people. Um, but no, he makes the meetings fun, and uh, I'm excited to you know get to get to be in the room again with him and play for him. The offensive line group is probably the most welcoming group on the team as well. Um, how has it been? Kind of, do you feel like you fit in right away? And you know, I'm sure there's a lot of food involved with all the bonding with you guys. A lot of food. Um, the guys are a little different than what I'm used to. You know. Uh, some of them have like the southern accent and stuff. Um, kind of used to the Minnesotan one. Fair. But uh, no, the guys are great. And uh, they do a lot of stuff together outside of the room. And I think that makes it easier for, uh, for a new guy to come in and, you know, uh, get to know them and kind of gel with them. Um, they do dinners every Thursday. I went last mm -hmm. week, um, but it was fun. It was fun to hang out with those guys. And we're doing it again this week. Um, nice. So it'll be fun to hang out with those guys and talk to them, get to know them better. I mean, you mentioned the way you came down here, flew back, came back. It's been such a quick transition. Do you feel like, is it, how difficult is it to try to pick up an, a new offense in the middle of the year? I imagine that's hard for you. Um, so being with Phil, some of the terminology is the same. Um, I'm on the offensive line. The plays are a little different, but uh, I mean, with, with the terminology on the field, I mean, it kind of tells you what you're doing anyways. And the center kind of tells you what's going on anyway. So. Learning the offense really wasn't that difficult. I'm still getting like the little tiny tweaks out of the way, but uh, it's been really fun. And I've been with the same, I've had the same offense for the last two years. So it's fun to try to challenge myself and get to know a new one. Very cool. So you're from Washington State originally, right? So you're pretty right. much as far away as you can possibly get from there. Yeah. Um, but what's the transition been like from going cold to hot? I know it's been a little cool this week, but just the change in culture as well for you. Yeah, so the humidity is a little different. Um, makes the joints feel better for sure. But uh, I think I and my fiance have brought the cold weather to, uh, to Florida. Um, I haven't got very many sunny days here, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. But um, no, it's been great. Um, like you said, I've been in cold my whole life and being in the warm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. We talk a lot, or at least I tell people when they ask me about Trevor Lawrence, I feel like he's very humble and down to earth, but you're with probably what I assume is the nicest quarterback in the league in Kirk Cousins before this, and I need to know if he was actually, is he actually like that in real life? Um, I think Kirk is nicer in real life than he is por portrayed in like media and stuff. Awesome. He's a great guy, and uh, we actually were getting really close this season. Um, we were sharing the love for Legos, and I kind of got him into it. Um, I got him a birthday gift. Uh, he's kind of he's into planes and stuff, so I got him the Concorde. It okay. just came out in Legos, so he was able to build that. And we were kind of we were gelling with the whole Lego uh, connection, and it was getting fun. Hopefully, uh, we we keep that going. Absolutely, I'm sure you can do it here. What's your favorite Lego that you have or you built? So I'm kind of like a Star Wars Legos guy. Okay. So I built all the big sets, like the Millennium Falcon, the ATAT, -AT and all that stuff. Very nice. Yeah. You got some big division games coming up this week, to kind of get you in the groove. Um, they, we don't like the Titans around here, so I'm sure people yeah. have told you not to like them. Um, what are you most looking forward to? I know you're still working your way back from your toe injury too. Yeah, so we, the Vikings actually played uh, the Titans. We had a joint practice with them mm -hmm. and then had a preseason game. So I have a little bit of knowledge with them, um, but I'm excited to get out on the field if I do and play those guys. You know, they're, they kind of lean their head on being physical and stuff. and. Mm -hmm. Those are the type of games that are fun to be a part of as an offensive lineman. Very good. All right, that's Ezra Cleveland, and that's Off the Field.